guys, it's your girl Ina here. A couple of you have asked me, because in my other video when I did um, a little video about getting Rocky ready for his day of school, um, I talked about making his own food, and a couple of people have asked me how I make his own food. And I've actually done a lot of research on it, and I talked to a couple of vets and to a couple of trainers, and I think I'm kind of on the right track. So I'm gonna tell you how I make uh, Rocky's food, in case you wanna make your dog food at home. Um, also, now I have a French bulldog, as you all know, if you haven't been inundated with my videos lately, um, who we rescued. So um, he's a rescue dog. We're not sure exactly quite how old he is, um, but we think he's still a puppy. Um, and French bulldogs are notorious for having, um, for having stomach issues. And when we first got him, he did have a little bit of, um, shall we say, loose bowels. Um, but since I've been making his food myself, it's been a lot better. And also they're notorious for being Farters, excuse me for speaking of farts, but um, and since I've been making his own food, um, that's kind of not been so much of a problem. So um, I'm going to let you know how I do it, and um, I try to prepare as much ahead of time, so this is an hour-long video because it does take a long time to make the food. Um, I'll just let you know what I put into it. So I put into um, his food some fresh broccoli. I've also used um, green beans, but they didn't have any at the store today, so I'm using fresh broccoli, a carrots, which I give to him cooked and raw. He loves carrots as a snack. Um, some sweet potatoes, which I've peeled, uh, which are a good source of um, carbs, and some regular potatoes. So I'll steam all of this together. I'll chop all this up. It's already everything's already been peeled. I'll chop all of this up and steam it, and then I'll come back to you with the next part. Okay, so we're back. This is my boy Rocky, and we're back. And he wanted to see what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face. How could I not roll it to her face? How could I not roll it to her face? Okay, so he's been a little bit barky. So you just chill out for a second so I can explain this. Good boy, sit there. Um, so I finished up these vegetables and these carbs. So for the carbs, he's got um, sweet potatoes and regular potatoes. Uh, I did a little bit of white rice. I think brown rice is actually better, but I couldn't find brown rice, so I used white rice. Um, here we've got his veggies, so carrots and broccoli, and he will also eat those raw. He loves raw vegetables. Um, here we have a mixture of turkey, uh, sorry, chicken and pork. And you might ask why chicken and pork, because that's what was on sale at the store today. It was 50% off. So, I mean, in addition to trying to make his food as healthy as possible, I also want to try to make it um, as healthy and cheap as I can. So this is um, chicken and pork. Mixed together, I slow cooked it, pulled it, and then chopped it up. And then this is uh, beef. Again, this was on sale. My father-in-law picked it up for me. It was 40% off. And then it might look a little bit funky because I put also um, half a dozen eggs in there. So it's got eggs mixed with meat. Now you might say, okay, this one's going to be a little bit higher in protein, but this all this will be about a week and a half's worth of food. So if maybe this has a little bit more protein than this, it's going to even out over the course of you know a week, week and a half. Also what I have, and this is kind of interesting, all this I'm learning new, so if I think I'm trying to sound hoity-toity, I'm learning all this as, as I go. Um, this, I hope you can see it, this powder is actually eggshells. So um, this is six eggshells that I've, that I've kind of pulverized with my mortar and pestle. Um, because the dogs need calcium. If they're not chewing on bones like they would in, in nature, they need to have that extra calcium. And I know of people who just kind of give eggshells to the dog, and I guess that's safe. I just would be scared to do that. So um, I, I found a method to do this that makes this really powdery and fine, so it's not going to hurt though. I just, I'm afraid I'll like cut him in the throat or something if he swallowed it. Um, and you just take the eggshells. So this is six eggshells. Take the eggshells. If you can, remove that little membrane thing on the inside. It makes it easier to pulverize. Remove it as much as that you can, as you can. And I have like a little, um, like little baking thing. And I just put the eggs and eggshells in there and roast it on 110, um, sorry, 180 degrees Celsius for 10, 15 minutes. And you'll, you'll smell it when they're roasted because it'll, it'll smell like something's roasting in your oven. Take them out, put it in here, bang, 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 dung, 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 it's done. Okay, so we've got the eggshells for the calcium, we've got the carbs, we've got a little bit of grain with the rice, we've got veg, we've got two different kinds of meat. And then what I basically do, again, I don't, I don't put any spices or anything on it, I divide it into single size portions and I try to do roughly about a third of each. But what I'm gonna do is with the eggshells is I'm just going to divide it sort of equally among the meat. 
So, like that. And again, this is he's going to get this over the course of about a week and a half, so one has a little bit more than the other. He's still going to end up getting it. Okay, kind of mix that in. Um, and then, like, you'll notice, because I did taste this food, it is kind of grainy with this uh, eggshell in it. But, again, he does not care. <laughs> he will eat anything. You know, I'm talking about my dog like he's all bougie, like he's all hot, like fancy schmancy. We went to the pet, pet store the other day, and there was just dry, like dry, like out of the bag cereal, dry food, like not a little bit moist, a little bit tender, dry food, and a bowl next to the door. He stuck his face in that bowl. Well, people were looking at me like I don't feed my pet. He wouldn't, I would have to go on this thing to get him away from this dry food. And I'm like, mommy makes your food. I call myself mommy. I make his food for him since it's a week after we got him, and, um, and he's going after this dry stuff. Also, he ate cat shit the other day, so, and he thought, he thought the cat shit was the best thing he'd ever eaten in his whole entire life. And I'm like, why am I making this food for you when you go outside and eat cat shit? But the main reason, like I said before, is that bulldogs um, generally have problems with their stomachs and they also fart a lot. And since he's, I've been making his own food, he's had, no, here comes, hello, I'm filming. Um, he said zero diarrhea and his farts are kind of under control, which are great. And another thing is, just another side thing, is that he is, I guess he's a rescue. We're not exactly sure how old he is, but we are sure he's not 100% potty trained because he still does have accidents in, his house, in the house. Um, not a lot, but occasionally. Um, if you have to clean up a nice solid poop off the floor, or you have to clean up diarrhea off the floor, there are two different things. So. If I can keep his, his, his bowels nice and solid by making his own food, I'll, I'll put in the effort. So anyway, so how we do this is, I want to get it to be about a third, um, actually a little bit less than a third grain and carb, a little bit less than a third car, uh, veggies, and a little bit more than a third with the meat. So I have these single size portions, single serving portions, put about a spoon of the carbs in there, put a little bit of the rice in there, Put a little bit of the veg in there, okay? And then I put some meat, a big scoop of meat, meat all the way up to the top, okay? So the proportions as a whole, you can see, is pretty balanced. So if, like I said, if one is a little bit more, a little bit less, it's all gonna come out in the wash. It's all gonna be balanced at the end. And then I put the lid on there, and then I get all of these containers filled up, oops, for, for about a week and a half. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish those and show you uh, what it looks like at the end. Also, something kind of important. When I um, serve his food, if you saw my other video um, about getting him ready for school, um, I put fresh, uh, fresh fruit and vegetables in his food. So he'll get a serving of this and then he'll get up like sliced fresh carrots, um, strawberry or whatever I have, blueberries, antioxidants, he even likes watermelon. So. I do put a little bit of extra fruit and vegetables in there just, you know, kind of to make it a little bit fresh. And a spoonful of Greek yogurt. I just started that one to see how it would act. I read it a couple places to get a little uh, spoonful of Greek yogurt. That's been working out pretty well so far. He likes it. It hasn't um, affected his bowels badly. I also add the special oils you can get for dog food if you make your own dog food. And I spoke to a vet and she said make sure he's getting the special oil. So you can just order it online, just dog. It just you can figure it out, right? This is called Barfer's Oil. I don't know if I want something called Barfer's in my dog food, but that's what it's called. And then um, also to make sure that he gets all his vitamins, even though this is pretty healthy, I add um, every day he gets a little uh, bit of this. This is Happy Dog Multivitamin, multivitamin Mineral um, Powder. I give him a little bit of that. So I'm gonna continue getting these ready, and then I'll, oh, one thing else I wanted to mention. Um, I. Uh, peel and slice carrots and store them in the fridge in cold water and they stay for several days nice and crispy and then when he wants a treat um, I give him carrots to chew on so instead of giving him like a, a pet food like sausage thing or something that's maybe not the healthiest if you train him early like to eat carrot sticks that seems to be for him okay so I'm going to finish this up and I'll be back when I'm all finished with this Okay, so now I'm done packaging it all up, and you can see I've got quite a, quite a bit of food here. And I did have some leftover, so I already filled his bowl for tonight, 
for dinner and um, I have a bowl of the stuff for tomorrow. So this will be his food for tomorrow. So it's tonight and tomorrow. Then I've got all of this that I can throw in the freezer. And then what I do is I just take out, you know, a few portions and, and sit it on the counter and then put it in the fridge uh, the day before so that he always has um, his food. And then I told you how much I paid for everything. Um, he gets three of these a day. Um, or he gets two of these and dry lunch at lunchtime if, like, for example, if he's up at school and he's playing with the kids, then I, I take, like, one of these full of dry food and they can use these as treats when they're playing, um, like, doing his tricks with them and stuff. So sometimes he gets one of these of dry food and two of these, or sometimes he gets three of these. It depends on, on the day and what we're doing. Like, yesterday we went swimming at the lake and I just brought him dry food so we could, it was just easier to travel with. Um, and like I said, again, it's not that he's so bougie that he has to have special food. It's just the fact that his poop is better and he doesn't fart as much. That's like the main reason. And also, I mean, I do want to know what's going into his body and that he's being healthy and that he's getting good food. Um, but it's kind of the other, the other reasons as well. So, um, yeah, try it. See if you like it. And, and for me, my thing is it is, it is, I have to be honest, it is a lot of work. It does take a while to get all this stuff ready. Um, but it's really rewarding when I'm feeding him. I feel good about feeding him because I know I made his food. Like, so it's like a little bonding thing. Um, and also, I mean, like I said, he was licking cat poop the other day. So <laughs> why ever get tired of making this? I know he's going to, it's not like he's getting so spoiled that he's not going to eat other food. Like, I know that I can always go back to regular dog food if I don't feel like making it or if I don't have time. He's not that picky of an eater. Um, he can go back to, a, a, you know, a, another food if I have to. But for now, I enjoy doing it. He enjoys eating it. And it's like a bonding kind of experience to kind of give him something special since he had a kind of a little rough start, you know, getting rehomed several times. So that's what I do for my Rocky. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Oh, something else. Make sure you double check stuff before you put it in dog food because I was up at the store and I know he loves strawberries and things like this. So I was like, oh, grapes, that would be something great. Put them, get them nice and cool, put them in the fridge and throw them a couple grapes. And I, I Googled it and they're like, don't ever give your dog grapes, it's terrible for them. So I'm no vet or anything, so make sure if you see something you think maybe your dog will like it, Google it, like make sure that it's okay before you, you poison your poor pet. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more French Bulldog videos. Who would have known I'd be doing this? Um, and some other funny stuff that I throw together. We'll get, be getting some cool stuff up soon. Okay. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.